Hi, I'm Charles Malky, biologist and expert gardener with Ivy Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to actually prepare your Ivy Organics paint and how to apply it to what I have here standing next to me is a newly planted Oro Blanco um, grapefruit of the citrus varieties. Um, the citrus as well as avocados and many other um, trees that are actually known for having thin bark um, are very prone to actually overexposure of sun. And the importance of actually putting a product such as this on your trees is to basically um, provide it basically a sunblock so that the bark doesn't get burnt, um, exposing it to deterioration um, in a shorter um, life. Trees that are actually exposed to too much sun, you'll actually notice, will actually have bark that it begins to crack. Um, and once it cracks, it actually now um, gives an entryway for wood boring insects such as termites and beetles to get into the wood and start eating its way into now the core of the tree. Even if the other living parts of the bark start to close it, sometimes these wood boring insects continue to thrive within the tree. Many times you'll actually see a tree that's toppled over and the whole inside of the tree has already been eaten out. Um, and that's the example where it typically starts with some damage on the bark level um, that allows these um, pathogens um, to actually get into the tree. Um, Ivory Organics is an organic product. It's made out of organic paints. It's a um, paint powder. I want to actually demonstrate here. So it basically comes in a bag with um, your choice of color inside of it. This here is a white, um, which is the preferred for reflecting the most amount of light. But if you choose to go with a brown or a green for a more natural look, um, those are available as well and offer still that same protection for, um, for reflecting the sunlight and providing uh, protection to the inner um, bark as well. And then it's also available in the gallon size as well. If you own an orchard or many trees, um, that might be the best way to go. But a small can like this, which is the pint size, will cover at least about a dozen of um, this size tree. So depending on what your landscape's like, you can decide what's gonna be best suited for you. So it comes with a white powder. And then it also comes with a, a vial, which I'm gonna open here. And the vial actually contains two different oils. There's a neem oil in here, as well as a castor oil. And these oils actually are what provide the protection to the paint, which ultimately protects the tree um, from those wood boring insects, as well as, um, as well as rodents, such as moles, voles, rats, um, rabbits. Um, and you can actually see a lot of other videos where you'll see um, girdling happening around um, fruit trees and orchards. Um, this here will provide the protection um, to prevent those um, instances from occurring. The other products you may have seen when you actually see a tree that's actually got white paint on it um, are typically using a paint product. And I've got a couple here um, with me. And the issue with these is um, and most of these being that we're here in um, Los Angeles, California recording today, um, but California law requires that for most of these paint products that I've picked up, um, all of them actually have a warning on here which say that it either causes cancer or birth defects. Um, so it's got poisonous chemicals in here, firstly. Secondly, paint products to protect the wood usually have algicides and fungicides in them as well. Um, and those same preservatives that are in the paint to protect the furniture that you're painting um, and the walls that you're painting is the same chemicals that actually harm your plants. An algicide and a plant pretty much have the same tissues and are both prone to being damaged by paint products such as these. Um, using an organic alternative is the preferred way to go and application time is only once or twice a year. So I'm going to begin by um, mixing this for us All right now. So we're basically going to take the paint powder. I'm gonna use the entire contents. Um, the paint powder will last, on average, about five years, but once you add water to it, it's preferred to use it within a two week period of time. So here we got the paint powder in there. The next thing I'm gonna do is add some water to it. And I filled it up about halfway. And then I'm just gonna mix it. So that when I add my oils, it doesn't clump into one part of the powder. So now I'm just going to add the entire oil vial to it. Set that down here. Mix it some more. And now we're going to pour the rest of the water. 
And now we got a full can of white paint that's organic and safe to use around your garden. Um, some farmers have actually um, taught me the idea of actually taking one or two teaspoons of this and adding it to water and actually applying it to the whole top of the tree as a, um, as a sun as a sunblock, especially around the time of transplanting it. Um, so we're going to keep mixing that here. And you're going to want to make sure you stir it about every um, five to ten minutes throughout um, your application to make sure that all of its contents are actually um, mixed. The other point I want to um, point out is these trees in nature will typically form into a canopy. Um, most of the branches will grow all the way to the ground and, and protect the tree trunk. Um, so again, because it's exposed, and today's not a sunny day, it's, it's quite cloudy, um, you would actually see that the sun actually rises from my left and basically is exposed to this part of the tree all day long. Um, but again, for cosmetic purposes, I'm gonna paint all the way around. But it's really this side of the tree that's most um, prone. And as you can see, the, the color of the bark is already starting to change as well from overexposure to the sun. But this will help the tree stay cool especially on those hot summer days. Another advantage of Ivory Organics is for those trees that actually live where there's near freezing temperatures and freezing temperatures is protection against sun scald. And sun scald happens when, um, typically happens in the winter. And what happens is um, on a warm afternoon in the winter, the juices in the tree come back to life and start going up the tree and it thinks it's gonna start you know, warming up, but at night the temperature drops again, and because the tissues underneath the bark are starting to move, when it starts cooling, the bark begins to crack. And again, those cracks now lead to, um, lead to openings that will allow those wood boring insects to get into the tree and actually compromise the life of the tree. So here we are, just painted it all the way around. And again, the benefits, not just from sun protection, but also to keep wood boring insects off of the bark, as well as if there's any rodents, which we have had rodent problems in this um, garden, to keep them from actually chewing on the tree trunk and compromising the life of this tree. But here we go. Ivory Organics, three in one tree guard paint, still relatively a full can of paint, and I've just finished you know, a nice medium sized tree over here. Your organic alternative for protecting your trees from sunburn, sun scald, rodents, and wood boring insects. Uh, if you have any questions, please visit ivyorganics.com. My name's Charles, your biologist and plant expert, and we'll be, we're here to help answer any of your questions. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like it, and most importantly, please subscribe so that you can be connected to all of our educational videos that we have and sharing with ivyorganics.com. Thanks again. Have a great day.